What's up to our viewers? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel of Car Enthusiasts. Before we get started, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and press the bell icon so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Let's get let's get right into it, guys. Today in front of us is the Volkswagen Vortex, the sister concern of the Skoda Slavia. Okay. Uh, see, it is the same vehicle, but there are a few changes. Let's right let's jump right into it. So guys, this is the story underneath the hood. This is the one liter TSI engine. Okay. Okay, that means quality check is done. Okay, we all know how it looks. Uh, if you have seen my rapid one liter TSI video, which was posted way uh, back, uh, the matte edition rapid, you can go and check it out over here. I'll leave the link on top over here. You can go and check that out. It's the same layout, there is nothing different except for the body. Okay, so this is how it looks. Churns out 115 horsepower with 178 Newton meters of top uh, and uh, uh, pretty, it's punchy, it's good for city drive. It's Turns out good miles also. The only thing is the three cylinder unit, so rattling the hota yeah, no insulation. Nahi hai. Okay, so let's understand the third of the bonnet. So closing the bonnet, of course, it's a very heavy bonnet, guys. Bohot heavy hai. Bodybuilding kar sakta hai See, it's very strong because it is a five-star vehicle. Let's keep moving forward. Right, so as you can see, this uh DRL finishing is different. You get the same projector headlamps, and this is finished in yellow. Okay. Uh same story over here okay now you get a lot of chrome in this but the chrome in in my opinion feels very tastefully done okay not overdone you get chrome plating over here on the top and on the bottom as well your volkswagen logo is finished in chrome and black of course okay you get a chrome plating on the bumper as well this is finished in piano black okay uh, this is a very nice yellow color in front of me it looks very premium okay makes the car stand out in my opinion what do you guys think do let me know you get a towing hook, towing hook over here as well okay and uh, this is the story from the front profile of the vehicle it looks very mean okay it looks very sleek okay and this is a very good feature after a few seconds you know if the car doesn't start it turns the light off on its own so that's pretty neat okay this is the story from the front let's get to the side profile uh see in the skoda slavia you get a skoda badging over here but you don't get it but you have a space to give some sort of a badge over here because the design element is the same okay there is no difference all right this is your orvm turn indicator matte black finish okay finish in yellow over here you get a request sensor over here for the code driver and the driver side as well chrome plating yellow color chrome plating yellow color is the same story all right uh, let's get to the tires over here you get uh disc brakes only in the front okay this is 205 r16 same tire dimensions but the alloys look really good to me the alloy dual tone design looks it's really uh eye-catching and it looks really premium what do you guys think let me know your thoughts in the comments below okay drum brakes for the rear so if you guys are worried about you know that this car is so expensive and it doesn't come with disc brakes okay let me tell you guys uh the slavia that i'm driving the stopping power is next level okay so you do not have to worry about uh, four disc brakes in this vehicle the braking power in this car is really good okay trust me on this because i have tried and tested this vehicle and it stops really well okay so you don't have to worry about that now let's explore the rear now exploring the rear as you can see these led uh, tail lights over here look very good and very tasteful okay and i like it in my opinion because Many <laughs> cars I do have both the sister concern, but this rear looks really good to me. Okay, Volkswagen logo finished over here in chrome and black. Virtus over here, TSI over here. This is not the GT variant. Okay, guys, you get your stop lamp over here, rear defogger, and you get your shark fin antenna on top, finished in piano black. Opening the boot. This is the story of the boot, guys. 521 liters. You get 60 40 split as well. The rear, uh, the spare wheel is uh, 195 65 R15. Okay, as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but here it's written and it is, of course, a steel wheel. This is your toolkit. No subwoofers present in this vehicle. That's your warning triangle over there. That's your first aid kit over there. Let's close the boot. Oh, before you close the boot, you have LED. Uh, lamps for your license plate you also get a rear camera over here you get three parking sensors same as the slavia one two and three okay so let me know guys which car do you would you prefer the virtus or the slavia in terms of looks okay let me know your thoughts in the comments below and uh, let's have a competition okay so guys as you can see it has a rear fog lamp also on this side and the backlight is on this side okay so only one fog lamp and one backlight that has been the signature of Volkswagen since the Polo days. So <laughs> they have added it onto the Virtus as well. All right, uh, you get your chrome plating over here as well. Very tastefully done, not overdone. Reflectors, 
reflectors okay and that's pretty much it from the exterior and the front and rear profile guys uh let me know your thoughts okay it's a pretty long car okay uh and it looks really good and sleek all right and the best part about this car is it has the best in class ground clearance guys 179 millimeters same as the skoda slavia so gaddo se dan lagne ki koi zarurat nahi hai you can buy this sedan with a peace of mind okay so without any further ado let's get inside okay the car is already open before we get inside see yahan pe volkswagen likha hua hai wow <laughs> so now let's get inside okay uh what do we have here so we have driver functions over here one touch up and down only for the driver the rest is uh, you have to keep it ho uh, hold it up and press it down for the windows to go down okay you get your window locking system mechanism over here your orbium functions over here your lock and door unlock function i really like this design uh that it's over here uh in the slavia it's placed next to uh the gear okay it's on this side okay you get the auto start stop over here and the locking door function over here uh, but in the vertus you get it over there so that's pretty good and i really like it over here it looks very nice to me okay this car is smelling really good i'm getting that new car smell okay so yeah now let's explore the interior okay guys this is a very nice looking steering wheel okay very premium okay looks very good to me all right uh, let's start the car This is the horn of the car. They don't come with the trumpet dual tone horn as stock. You can install it as an accessory from my service center in Kolkata, the Global Skoda service center. I'm not sure about the Volkswagen service center, guys, so I cannot comment on it. But I'm sure you can, okay? Because I took a test drive for the Tiguan also, and they said we can change the horn for you. That's not a problem. So I think in Kolkata, if you want, if you're buying this car, you can change the horn to a trumpet dual tone horn. Let's explore the screen. So we have explored the screen already. It's the same in the Kushak that we had explored. Okay, you can go and check out my Lava Blue edition, the Kushak walk around that I did because the screen is the same. All right. So when it comes to uh, toggling, okay, uh, we are going to one sec, going to view. Okay. So when you press the view button and then you toggle. You get different views. Okay, is the same screen, guys. Yeah, this is my favorite view. <laughs> okay, as I've already mentioned, the lava blue edition of the Skoda. So light will switch off automatically in 30 minutes. Okay, that's pretty neat. <laughs> so this car has a nice battery saving function. You have to keep switching on the car. Let's switch off the light anyway. Okay, 12 watt battery is low. Charge by driving. Okay, we'll charge it later, my friend. Uh, so a lot of warning signs over here, as you can see. Please refuel. Also, yeah, both are warning signs. There are, yeah, look. But ठीक है. Digital screen is the same. Uh, these things over here are duds. Okay. So not uh, you know they are not functional, of course. So it's only this square region over here. Okay. Uh, let's switch on the lights. It's telling me to. So you get a gear display. Okay. Get audio. Average speed, speed, distance, time, average economy, economy, driving data, no display, and settings. Okay, and then you can close it. Okay, so these are the options that you get. Uh, the screen looks very good to me. Looks very premium. Okay, so this is your uh, infotainment system, the 10-inch unit, which I missed out on. Okay, when the Slavia came with a new update, uh, it's a very smooth unit. It looks very premium. Also, looks very, very premium. Uh, बार बार ही अपने आप बंद हो जाता है एनी वे लुक्स वेरी प्रीमियम टू मी एंड जस्ट लुक इट दैट मैन लुक इट द फ्लो यू कैन स्विच ऑफ ट्रैक्शन कंट्रोल ऑल्सो फ्रॉम हियर आई हैव टू गो डीप इन दिस इंफोटेनमेंट सिस्टम टू स्विच ऑफ द ट्रैक्शन कंट्रोल ओके सो वैल्यू फॉर मनी वेरियंट ही है ये ओके इफ यू आर अडेड ड्राइवर एंड यू जस्ट ड्राइव इन दिटी एंड यू लाइक you know in driving enthusiastically once in a while okay so this is a value for money variant for you guys because you get all the bells and whistles in this okay plus you get safety safety is the biggest thing that you know Volkswagen offers okay apart from it has started offering good features also like ventilated seats and stuff but yeah this is your uh, system settings your car settings media uh, apps and notification okay uh, this is your you can download your vw play apps also you can put your apps over here as well this is your sound settings and this is to switch off the infotainment system of course oh no this is to mute the infotainment system power button lag raha hai na it ho band ho gaya so bar bar on karna pada guys so this is your music system and uh, this is your call connection you get android auto and apple carplay uh, of course in this vehicle 
okay let's go back okay what else do we have on offer over here you get your ac one design over here you get your same touch panel in the ac uh, same as the skoda slavia okay you get your two usb c sockets over there you get your talk converter because it's an automatic variant one liter tsi ventilated seats option auto start stop option push start button option i like it over here it looks very premium on the slavia it's placed over here you can't even show it off so yeah but you know press the clutch and then you know but this is automatic variant of course but yeah in the manual press the clutch and then looks good to me okay it's my opinion uh you get uh two cup holders over here 12 watt charging socket over here your glove box is cooled but not lit up okay this is how the dash looks guys let me know your thoughts i like this layout to be very honest with you guys this screen integrated inside and you know this piano black finish i really like this layout okay but i like the steering wheel of the slavia much more compared to the vw okay but what do you guys think let me know your thoughts in the comments below okay this is your headlight function over here okay you get auto side light and headlight uh this is your headlight leveler right placed over here okay no metal pedals but metal pedals can be installed as an accessory all right uh apart from that uh you get your storage under the armrest and your armrest is slideable okay leather seats in this ventilated seats for the front uh very good looking seats you get the same seats in the slavia style variant also so ventilated seats uh, in india is a very important feature now i understand it because when i go out for long drives uh mera back gila ho jata hai. but this is actually a very good feature this will keep you cool and the drive will be a lot more comfortable all right uh, you also get your chintu mintu sunroof okay it's not chintu mintu actually it's big enough okay uh, but you guys know how i feel about the sunroof so bar bar nahi bolunga this is your auto dimming rvm this is your vanity mirror for the co driver ticket holder for the driver and you don't get any ticket holder over here guys as you get in the slavia because it is the most useless place to put a ticket holder okay so <laughs> Anyway, you get your tweeters over here, one and two over there, speakers one and two over here, and two at the back. Okay, so six speakers set up. All right, uh, the sound output is really good. Okay, we've already explored it in the Slavia. We're not going to explore it again and again because it's the same vehicle. All right, uh, you also get your grab handle foldable over here, grab handle over here. You get six airbags in this car. Okay, with ABS, EBD, everything, all the safety tech. Of course, it doesn't come with ADAS. All right, so that's a different thing altogether. Maybe in the next update, they will come. with the adas function also all right uh, your door handle is finished in silver over here okay and uh, i don't know why they put a cover over here in all vw cars or skoda cars ye kyu lagate hai yaar ye mere ko batao koi to mere ko batao kyunki mere gaadi mein bhi laga hua tha mere rapid mein bhi laga hua tha mere polo mein bhi laga hua tha nahi jab thi to ye kyu lagate hai ye mere ko batao i want to know from you guys okay why they bandage this area because i really don't know okay you get a soft touch finish over here hard plastic hard plastic lot of hard plastic in this vehicle okay uh, but the plastic quality is good okay oh no guys this feels a little no 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 it's fine it's fine i thought the integrity was compromised because thoda sa yahan pe dab raha hai okay as you can see thoda dab raha hai but it's solid over here but here it's pressing okay uh, this is also a little bit pressing uh so i don't know why that is happening but let's keep moving forward okay so this is the story of the front uh, guys there's nothing much to explore nothing very different in this vehicle except for the steering wheel the locking and locking button the push start stop button okay how the infotainment system has been integrated and uh, the ac unit is the same okay so there's not much different only difference is the piano black finish jo hai inka thoda alag hai hamara aise bahar nikal ke aata hai yahan se ओके एंड यहाँ से ऐसे जाता है सो जस्ट माइनर डिफरेंसेस एंड इन टर्म्स ऑफ एक्सटीरियर लुक्स देयर इज अ बिग डिफरेंस द स्लावे लुक्स कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द वर्टर्स ओके सो बट द रियर प्रोफाइल लुक्स मोर लेस द सेम ओके दिस इज व्हाट इट इज इन इन ब्रीफ ओके बट दिस इज व्हाट इट इज दिस इज द स्टोरी फ्रॉम द फ्रंट ओके लेट्स गेट टू द रेयर एंड एक्सप्लोर वट वी हैव ओवर देर एंटरिंग द रेयर नाउ गाइज ओके एक चीज तो मैं आपको सुनाना भूल ही गया this the third of the door oh my god uh, 
that is solid okay solid no wonder this is this door is also very heavy and i haven't experienced a door this heavy in any vehicle except from tata vehicles okay so okay anyway let's keep moving on uh, and uh, what do you get in the rear you get an armrest with two cup holders okay same leather seat treatments okay the leather seat dual tone treatment color is very nice okay it's very suiting beige and black okay But because it makes the cabin feel more airy also and it really does okay uh here a dashboard design guys kaisa lag raha hai let me know your thoughts in the comments if you find it premium if you you know uh uh if if there could have been something better what is your opinion i would like to know in the comments below and itni dur tak dekh liyo to ek like aur subscribe to banta hai guys so do like subscribe and share the video if you're enjoying the content okay we get cabin lights over here uh they are finished in white only gaadi have to go and switch it on but white cabin lights for the rear and the front so we both have cabin lights okay for the the white color cabin lights for the rear and the front you get three headrests okay um for all three passengers all right and now we're going to put this up you get isofix points as well okay the uh, headroom is uh, good enough all right uh, which i've already uh, shared so many times okay so i'm not going to do it over and over again the headroom is also pretty great okay this ca car is very spacious three people can sit easily but the hump na yahan pe hump jo hai na ye thoda nikla hua hai okay but agar main beech mein aata hu na guys तो मैं कंफर्टेबल हूँ स्टिल प्लेंटी ऑफ स्पेस फॉर द पैसेंजर्स ऑन माय लेफ्ट एंड माय राइट ओके इट वोट बी दैट डिफिकल्ट बट यस आर शोल्डर्स माई टच ओके द शोल्डर्स विल टच बिकॉज आई एम अ ब्रॉड गाय ओके सो द शोल्डर्स माई टच वन आई एम सिटिंग इन द मिडल ओके यू गेट अ ग्रैब हैंडल ओवर विथ हुक नो एल लाइट ट्रीटमेंट सेम स्टोरी ओवर हियर ग्रैब हैंडल विथ हुक no led light treatment you get a seat pockets at the back okay for some storage you get a storage option over here and over there as well okay so in terms of practicality is also it is good enough all right and uh, that's about it guys from the rear nothing uh, new to explore okay Uh, except for the fact that the only new thing is that this is the Virtus, okay, and this is not the Slavia. Baki sab kuch, everything is same in this vehicle, okay. There is nothing different. Uh, it is just that I wanted to bring this video to you guys, uh, and uh, you know, uh, so that you guys can see it for yourself also what the changes exactly are between the Virtus and the Slavia. Let's get outside, guys, and conclude the video. All right. So, guys, uh, this was my video of the Volkswagen Virtus, okay. and uh, see uh, apart from the changes in the front and some changes in the interiors it is the same vehicle okay it is just 20 mm longer so the road presence is more by 20 mm but that's about it guys it is the same vehicle okay but in terms of looks people might have to decide which they find better the virtus or the slavia okay in terms of looks uh, for me personally i like the slavia better okay it is not that the virtus is bad looking uh, but it just slavia gives me more premiumness compared to the sportiness of the virtus okay so if you are a sportier enthusiastic driver i think the virtus would suit you more in terms of looks and if you are someone who wants to show some sort of elegance and class i think slavia is your slavia should be your pick okay and uh, apart from that guys uh, it's a five star car okay it is very good to drive it is fun to drive and uh, it ticks almost all the boxes except for a few features that a competition is coming up with nowadays the adas and uh, various more connected uh, you know car uh, apps and everything uh, which uh, the volkswagen and skoda are not offering yet okay but i'm sure uh, in future they will offer these features as well and naturally the prices will go up because we indians really want features okay so anyway let's uh, see what they do in future but anyway let me know oh, your thoughts guys which one do you like better the virtus or the slavia let me know your thoughts in the comments below and we will of course have a conversation over there as well i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for joining me in this video uh like the video if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my future uploads guys i will see you in the next one till then take care and stay safe to our viewers bye bye